Hi there folks, it's uh, the 22nd of October in the uh, Good Aarons Blitzkrieg 5.2 scenario and uh, for those that have been following along we had captured Kursk and Lagov but we had isolated a headquarters in a, a big three-step um, guards, I think that's a guards unit, yeah second guard infantry this guy and a couple of little pieces and it took a while but we finally got to the point where we could uh, attack it fairly easily uh, it's light mud and the weather's light mud and so we managed to DG the unit before we attacked and I used an overrun and I believe you can overrun that's a hill uh, as far as I can figure and move from points at two and it takes uh, for, for armor and so uh, and plus three for the for the attack for the overrun so we're all good there and that's why those guys have flipped to move mode uh, to do the infantry or in move mode now uh, the, the, my point of all this is that that clears the road which means I'm able to now use this as the I think Kursk can be used as an entry point for uh, reinforcements and supply and all that sort of fun stuff which, uh, let me just check that, yeah Kursk so that that lends it uh, to my thinking about uh, extenders, I've got this extender here somewhere there, 20 truck movement points extender interestingly enough from this town to Orel and to Kursk it's exactly 10 movement points in each direction. I have five uh, wagons here. So what I'm thinking is I can free up five truck points. So we're not using the special, any optional rules. I can free up five truck points to ferry uh, goods, <laughs> goods, <laughs> ammo and fuel uh, up to uh, Livni here. And I, I can still because the weather doesn't impact your your counting for trace, I'm still going to be in trace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can actually almost get to Livni and be in trace. These guys can be in trace because uh, I still haven't got the railroad done. So that would be very cool. And this one, two, three, four. Well, now I now with this guy can he'll be able to trace to here because the rail's almost done. I'm two hexes away. This is really, really uh, kind of fun uh, and interesting. There's a lot of thought that has to go into it, and I'm probably not the right guy to be playing this game. I'm not detail-oriented enough and certainly not planning far enough in advance, but we are managing to shuffle some bits around and make it happen, so it's kind of kind of interesting. So this would mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. So I could get to here, and then we can project forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look at that! So we are going to be in striking range for keeping my guys in uh, trace to attack Yelts or Yelets, however you want to pronounce it. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what do you know? We are also will be in trace uh, to attack this. We just got ourselves a mission, boys. So this is, uh, assuming I'm doing it correctly, uh, this is very cool. And now I'm going to have five extra trucks that, uh, although they're in mud, are going to at least be able to begin the exercise of shuffling uh, supply forward. And I'm still a little, uh, still unclear. I know you can't uh, bound supply forward, but uh, it would seem to me, I think you can unload Actually, I'm not even going to say any more. I'm going to go read the rules before I start crapping on about what you can or can't do with SPs. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. It's just a, a naughty little bit of uh, revelation by by myself, but I was uh, suitably impressed with the, the maps and all the rest of it work out in such a fashion that you can actually make this happen. All right, I'll pop this up for you guys. It's the way three quarters of the way through the seventh turn, so we're halfway through the scenario.